Brandon Clemmer, our number two seed, takes on Stephanie Johnson next here in Rockford, Illinois. Season opener of the POVA Tour. And Brianna is subject to the Bowl TV Highlight of the Week. Gave us our highlight as she gave the PWBA Tour its first 300 game of the year here, Sid. Her first 300 as a member of the Tour in the tournament's second game. Pretty cool, huh? It was very cool. The smile on her face says it all. She's just playing so joyful this year. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our number two seed from Clover, South Carolina, Brianna Clemmer. Team USA, big star after an incredible career at McKendry for Shannon O'Keefe. She's from Clover, South Carolina, northern part of the state near the North Carolina line. York County is a small town of 5,000. Got the arm out for stability. It's her trademark. Starts her day. Oh, almost the top two ten just a two pin. That's much better. Much better. This left lane has been really tricky. I mean, Stephanie Johnson has struck 71% of the time on this left lane. So I think it's really smart that Brianna chose to start on the left lane, finish on the right, forces Steph to finish on this left lane, which she has only struck 40% of the time on. Her arm is out for the first ball, not the spare ball, and takes care of the two pin for the mark. First title after a brilliant career at McKendry. Four-time All-American. Multi-time National Player of the Year. Now Stephanie, who's been cruising here. Her 18-year run as a member of Team USA ends in 2022. She said it was time. She and Shannon. Her third base. Good start. Takes a long time just to say that. She's got several jobs. She's always on the go. And she told us she just loves to be busy all the time. Thinking about going right now. Left lane. Oh, ring and ten from good shot. See it, feel, and embrace it, right? SFE. That's her theme this year. Go. Second turn for Clemmer. No 7 10. That's the good news. 10 pin stands. The arm out. Very unique, Sydney. Why does she do that? She does it for a couple of reasons. It all started because she wanted her swing to be straighter. And when you put that left arm out, it forces you to drop the ball into the swing freely. When she puts her left arm on the ball, it can get a little bit tense through the front part of her approach. And this swing will start to bump, and she doesn't like that at all. Ten pin got that. Ever try it yourself? Yeah, the women had an opportunity to work with Kim Terrell Kearney. Sure. And Coach Kim is getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. Congrats. On Wednesday as well. Yes, congrats to her. And not only is she an amazing bowler, but a great coach. And we said that something just clicked this week with her. What do you see here? The ball never sees the lane. So it's, there's polish on that bowling ball. So it wants to shoot through the oil. In order for it to pick up a little bit sooner, she'd have to throw it slower or go to a bowling ball that wants to hook a little bit earlier. Help from tour reps. Johnson trying to take advantage right lane. Yeah! All that late kick on the seven pin. Down it goes. Goes for a 27 pin lead. A little high, 6-10. Almost crossed over Brooklyn style. It's not easy when it's happening in real time. With a title on the line. So far, so good. Covers, 6-10. Has her spare. Her opponents haven't been so fortunate. No, Stephanie said that she didn't really like that shot, but then she came back and made a hand motion like the ball is doing something that she doesn't quite like. Play. 
touch shot, three pin. 24 frames, Stephanie Johnson, no opens. That's solid bowling. We can see that Bree wasn't as stable as she would have loved to be on that shot, which caused it to be pulled. It was left of where she wanted it to get down lane. We heard her say, push, get through it. Stephanie, in her fifth frame, works on a spare. There's a win probability. Wow. Stephanie has owned that stat <laughs> so far through two and a half matches. Clamor needs a strike here. Bring a 10 pin, good shot. 10 pin, you got it. Let's see if she does. Right lane, Stephanie. Tie six. No, all done. Oh my she turned away. <laughs> Looked like the 6 10 and said it's a strike for Stephanie Johnson plus the bow, which I like a lot. It's her day. It's looking like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Right now, Steph just needs a good shot. She hasn't felt like the last two have been good. And it's hard to make moves when you're not making good shots. That's her 28 pin lead. Go! Yeah! Let's go! But what's so great about the PWBA is right now we have fans back. Yeah, Last season awesome. we didn't have full buildings, and, and this season we do. And it's a lot of fun. Clemmer so. needs a rally, and that's how you do it. Stay with a big strike out of the TV break. And that's a ball change for Brie Clem. She went from a radical big foot to a Rodman curl. Rotten and Pearl is a stronger bowling ball, and so you're going to see Bree's break point get a little bit further right than what it was before. But she's going to stay with the big foot on the left lane. See the max score. Time is now for Clemmer. That's a good shot. Ten pin stands. Well, she learned so much from her former head coach, Shannon O'Keefe. And McKendry, the mental game. So much of the physical part of her bowling. And with Team USA. Seventh frame, looks for Turkey. Big shot for Johnson. Yeah! 38 pin lead. Very. Did you see it? Maybe clips <laughs> here and there. I know you're young. Great film. <laughs> Stephanie. Four pin, not this time. All right. There were some great names this week who had 120s, 130s, 140s, and 50s on this particular pair that the girls are bowling on. It was tough because the two lanes were quite different from each other. And so we only have a couple of shots to figure out how they differ and if they were different from the last pair and making great shots in pressure situations like these is even more difficult. Saw the win probability numbers. Now ring a 10 pin. Good shot again there for Brianna Clemmer. Members and teammates and all the women on tour have made a video for her grandpa when he was in the hospital. Was very cool. We told you about her great collegiate success. Flashback for Brianna. National champion, McKendry. There she is under the bright lights. ITC ISL Championship for the McHenry Bearcats and head coach Shannon O'Keefe. And what a run she had. She was throwing the same ball that she's throwing right now. How about that? Uh, my tour roommate, Brie Cote, and I asked her why she throws any other bowling ball. Because when we went to uh, Columbia together for Team USA this last October, she struck every time and she threw it. So what was the answer? Why not? Sometimes the bowling balls don't always work all the time. Things we do being, change, right, with conditions here. Yeah, we're being a little sassy. <laughs> but really, it feels like every time Bree is throwing a Rodman Pearl, it's going to go well for her.
celebrating a strike. Not enough of those in this match here with Stephanie Johnson. Down by 38 late. Looking good for Stephanie to continue to climb the ladder all the way to the top seed, Liz Culkin. Each have a major championship under their belt. Each looking for their first win in four yeah! years. Stephanie Johnson help on the 10th pin. Down it goes, cruising to a victory. Wow. She is bowling really well here today. She looks extremely comfortable. Like, almost like this is home to her. She said she had so many memories here. Move a little bit. Only good vibes in this building for her. Seven pins wins it here. Sit. And she will take on the top seed, Liz Culkin. Got 10. Got the win. Keeps on trucking. Stephanie Johnson is in the title match. Wire to wire to this point. She has been brilliant. Next up, Liz Culkin, the top seed. Our championship matchup is set.